Today I want to show you what I do to organize my menu and my grocery list. Okay, we have a sweet potato casserole and cornbread going in the oven and I'm fixing to finish off this chicken. I just browned it on the outside under saute and now I'm going to set it. Let's see, manual, 25 minutes. I have an online program that works out really well for me and I wanted to share that with you. I usually shop and purchase a week at a time and this allows me to put in all the recipes I want to make and it produces a grocery list for me. So I found it very helpful and I wanted to pass it along in case you do too and I'll show you on the computer how that works. So here we go. Alright so this is what Paprika Recipe Manager looks like and we have all recipes listed here or you can do different categories as you build your inventory. For instance, here is the Instapot recipes that I have. And let's just go to one that I have done recently and this was the Texas Trail Chili. And it lists here all your ingredients. I'm not sure if you can see the pointer, but these are your ingredients. These are your directions. And all you do, if you want to, let's say, double the recipe, you just go in here and put two. It'll change all your ingredients over here to represent that. If you want to scale down the recipe, you can go to half, a third, a quarter. I mean, there's lots of options here. I keep everything on one unless I want to make changes, and I'll do that when I actually put it on my menu. So what you would do is click here to add meal and then it gives you a calendar and you put on here what date you want to have this meal and then you would change it to dinner. I only do dinners. I mean you can do breakfast, lunch and snacks on here but I only use this for my dinner meals. So I would change that to dinner and then put the date that I want to have that. After I have selected the whole week of food, you go up here to meals. Let me back out of here. And here is an example of what we had from November the 6th through no, no, November the 12th. And there's my Speedy Texas Trail Chili and then of course I had cornbread with it. So now what I do is I've got my whole week listed here. So I click on each recipe and click grocery list. On here it lists everything that you need to make this recipe. Now of course like down here it says one and a half cups of water. Obviously I don't need to get that at the grocery store so I would uncheck it. You would uncheck anything that you have already and that leaves just then the things that you need and you click here to add to your grocery list. Then you back out of here and you go to your next recipe. You hit grocery list again you make sure there's nothing you already have at your house and if you do you just uncheck it and then you hit add and you continue doing this till you get through the whole week and you've added everything to your grocery list then you go up here to groceries and this would be your list of groceries now this is my entire grocery list but i can also click on a specific recipe. Um, let's do the macaroni and cheese. And these are the items that are needed for that particular recipe. So if you want to go back and double check that you have everything, you can bounce around um, between uh, recipes or you can look at the whole list of food that you need. Now sometimes these go into the wrong categories. Like let's say for instance this package of Jiffy Cornbread had been put into the meats then you would just select aisle and you can put it in whatever aisle you want. Now I have found that every grocery store is different so I try to do mine the way the grocery store is set up. 
uh, at my grocery store in South Carolina, all the pasta is also near the canned goods. So I put all my pastas in with the canned goods because it's all on the same aisle. Um, but this actually would separate it. You see down here they have pasta, rice, and beans. And I found that the grocery store up here in Maryland, their pastas are on a separate aisle. So I separate it. But until you get used to your grocery store, you really don't know where to put things. You just put them in a general category that you think they should be in. And as you get used to your grocery store, you'll know where to put uh, the foods and what category to select them. Now, when you get to the grocery store, I sync this to my tablet. And so... Uh, could, because I don't have any paper up here, I don't have a printer. At home I would print this grocery list by going up here to actions and hitting print and it would print this out for me and then as I go, when I go to the store I just check it off with my pen as I buy it until I've got everything on here purchased. I don't have paper up here so what I do is I sync this to my tablet, I take my tablet with me and as I go through the grocery store and purchase these items I will check them off and what you can do is click here on to buy and as you check things off you see that now has disappeared so i want to just uncheck it because i haven't purchased them. <laughs> so this is the basis of the uh, program um, recipes it takes a while to get them all in here but once you've got your recipes in here the way you like them and the categories you want them in i mean i have chicken beef, breads, oh, ever say I don't have breads, uh, ham. You can put it in more than one category too. You can put it in ham and then if it is an Instapot recipe you can check that off too. So it would show up under ham and Instapot. So you can bounce around and I'm sure everybody makes, you know, works this out differently. I mean this is just the way I've set it up. The best thing that you have is browser. Now let's see, I want to find a recipe for, let's see, what do we want to look for? Uh, apple pie. Okay, and I'm just going to pick Pillsbury. Alright, so we have our perfect Pillsbury apple pie. So all you do is go up here and copy the link. Then you go into your paprika and you paste it and hit enter and it will pull that page up within this program. Okay, once it pulls it up down here at the bottom right corner, see, right here, there is a little button that says save recipe. So all you do is click on that and it downloads it for you. You don't have to do any typing, any entering. It just will pull it in and then all you have to do is decide what category you're going to put in and hit save. So there's my perfect apple pie from Pillsbury. It gives me my URL that I copied it from and then it gives me all my ingredients and it gives me my instructions. So we select a category. So we're going to put this in desserts and then hit save and then go down here to the save button down here and it will save this apple pie recipe into my desserts. And just to show you I'm going to go to desserts and we're going to find it. There's the perfect apple pie and of course it sizes it up properly for you when you want to use it. And we want to add it to our grocery list for whatever meal we just put in the date and we're set. So there's no typing, there's no entering. I mean that browser is fantastic to add any recipes that you see online or Facebook or wherever you find them. You just go to that website and it'll plunk it right in there for now, you. Now here is where I purchased it. The address is paprika app com that is p a p r i k a a p p dot com and as you can see they have it available for Windows, Mac, iPad, Kindle, Fire, Android, and iPhone. Now I like I said sync mine between my uh, tablet and my laptop and I think you can uh, sync it up on several devices. I'm not exactly sure how many. Um, if I click on Windows, I believe it'll give us that price. Yep, it is 
and it is a one-time fee and that's I mean and look they're having a sale annual thanksgiving sale paprika for windows is discounted from $19.99 to $9.99 until the end of november so hurry up and get your uh paprika because it looks like that is sale is coming to an end in the next couple of days i hope that was helpful for you uh if you have any questions please put them in the comments below i'd be happy to answer them as soon as i can it is called paprika and I will put that in the link below too. It is a one-time payment. Now I use it on my big computer and I use it on my tablet and I do sync them so that I can put my week's meals together on the big computer because it's easier for me. And then I just sync the tablet and I take that to the grocery store and as I purchase the items at the store I check them off. Now when I'm at home I print the shopping list and I do it by hand checking it off but I don't have a printer here with us in the camper so I just take the tablet there's little check marks as you buy them you check them off and if you click on um, to buy then everything you check off disappears and your list then gets shorter so you know you're done when everything's disappeared off that list so I find it very helpful and I just wanted to share it with you um, it does take some time to get all your recipes in there but the browser is great because it just saves the you just go to the website that you want to get the recipe from hit save it does it all for you you don't have to type it all in so the only ones I typed in were sort of my own recipes or the recipes that somebody had given to me on a piece of paper and I had to manually type that in so Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you again soon.